Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is Jay Zan. This is the vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's a spooky. Well, it, it's a very calm adventure game with a spooky feel because it's very dead, but it's also alive. It's very vibrant. It's very attractive. It's a very slow moving game, but it's very atmospheric and it will definitely envelop you. This game will envelop you. It's a game by the Astronauts, which is an indie studio that. Um, for my own research, has only created this game, and uh, during my initial impressions of just learning about the game, I'm, I'm thinking like, Dear Esther, I'm, uh, and if anybody has been following me, they understand that I don't appreciate Dear Esther at all, um, but this game is way, way more in depth, has a much better plot, much more gameplay style, or much better gameplay style, it's not just walking around, and um, you're actually doing something in this game. You're playing this uh, the role of a psychic detective. We'll just start a new game. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best not to do many spoilers, but at the beginning, you, you, you'll, you, you might get a little bit. Let's, I'll see if I can skip it or anything like that. But um, but yeah, you play the role of a psychic t detective. I did play through the entire game, and that you can watch that playthrough also on my channel um, of me playing from the beginning to the end. But that is very spoilerific, so... Uh, just know that. So we're going to start all over. Um, yeah, I did finish it, and I am very pleased with my purchase. Uh, it was definitely what I was looking for. With, in, in an age of FPS and killing and all kinds of like just super action-packed games, it's really nice to get back into a game where it's just, like this says, a narrative experience where you're just kind of relaxing, enjoying the scenes, and enjoying what's going to happen, what's going on. Let's see if I can try and skip this. Well, anyway, you play the role as Paul Prospero, a psychic detective. You're trying to find out what happened to Ethan Carter. Um, and you don't know if he's dead, if he's missing, what happened. And uh, as you go through this game, you're finding various dead bodies and you have to re or you have to re- place the parts back into uh, the proper order. For instance, there's a, a, a scene in the game where you find a guy who's dead, um, and there's like blood stains on the ground, his corpse has been drugged, his legs are laying there, and uh, there's a big rail car that's somewhere else, and you, you gotta kinda uh, re or put the plot back to where it um, what it was before the the uh, murder had taken place, and then when you do that, you can pretty much enter like a soul mode that um, lets you uh, uh, see that what happened in in the uh, actual ex happenings of the thing, and then you try and figure out so what happened, who's that, what happened with this, and it, it's a very uh, mysterious game, and so you're, you're walking around and you find random things about like this so what's this all about so you can see this and you can sense it um so you uh, it'll it'll uh, give you this sort of a kind of a partial sense of what happened the blue there is your your soul uh trying to find its way to the scene of the crime and what this is showing me is I need to find more parts of this puzzle to find out what happened, what's going on with this trap. This uh, very creepy trap. And uh, so I were, if I were to go look around and search for other things, like, um, let me see if I can find another one of the uh, things in the area. Okay, so I almost stepped on a bear trap. So when I try and sense that, it's now more fulfilled. So I need to find more parts of that. And when I find all the parts of this trap puzzle, um, it'll let me see what's going on with the traps and, and, and all that sort of jazz. And this game has a couple of puzzles. Some are fairly challenging and some are not that challenging. Um, but, but it's definitely interesting the way uh, the puzzles are. Oh sh yeah, see I almost got stuck by that trap too. So now, 
it's two, and then there's three, so it looks like there's probably one more. So if I were to find that last one, I would do that. Oh yeah, and if you look through this, you'll see all those skulls on the ground. So there's like a ton of dead bodies in the area, so um, you are going to try and find out why, what's going on with that. I'm purposely not going to do that though, I'm not going to show you what happens with that. Because uh, that would be a big spoiler. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free. So as you explore, you find really attractive scenery. Like, it's a very relaxing game. But there's also a couple places that are really scary too, which you'll find in the, la in the later parts of the game that I actually... <laughs> because by, the point, by that point, you're uh, so immersed in the game that when things actually start happening to you you get really tense and it almost feels like you're, it's happening to you and it's very it has a very good sense of immersion and coming from me who is very experienced in games who've played lots and lots and lots of games and reviewed many as well um it's hard for me to get immersed in games but this game does it very well uh, without having like m much interaction with anything aside from the environment and so yeah, there's there's a couple different types of puzzles in this game. There's narration like this. So you see, um, it leads to a, a narration of mystery. Why is it going to be his last one? Is it, what, what is going to happen to him? What's going to happen? What happened to Ethan Carter? What's up with those those traps back there? And and then you find a in, interactive like this this train here has got blood covered on the front of it, and it appears to be missing like something on its thing. If you uh, inspect it, it'll give you like hints like that, like thoughts of what your character's thinking. Was it a murder? Was it a... And then when you when you find things that you need to do, it'll give you kind of a hint where to look. Some of the stuff is really hard to find and you kind of search. When you move your uh, focus on, it'll, uh, it'll give you a hint. Like, if you hold that, it'll give you a view of where the crank is at. So... I need to find that location to find the crank for this this train here. And so you look around and you see, because we saw that dam from the bridge that was in the background of the water and then there's some water there and it's next to a lake so it kind of hints, hints to you that you need to kind of find a lake which, I mean, there's the lake obviously and there's the dam way over there. So it's probably over there, like near the shore. And it hints, it hints things like that and then you can go in here and do th and interact with the train and stuff and and then uh we're not going to spoil too much more but I will show you another thing that they do show you in in the official trailers so you, further on you go down you see ropes looks like somebody was tied maybe is, and they cut the ties there's no blood or anything so So did they get free? What? So somebody was tied up here, I guess. And then you go further down, there's blood all over the place, and there's cut off legs, and a blood trail that lead that just like of a corpse that might have been drug or something. And uh, you you follow it over, and you see another corpse. So if you inspect it, you got to figure out where did the blood come from? He has a fractured skull as well. Why did why is his head crushed plus his legs are cut off and it's stuff like that. You uh you just have to solve the mystery and then there's really, really weird things in this game. Like um there's some sci fi aspects to the game that you'll find uh later and you'll find like monsters in this game and uh it's 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 very uh there's like kind of a ghost mystery kind of going on too. It's a very uh, complex but simple game. Um, you'll probably get about four or five hours depending on how in-depth you search the game. 
it's fairly open world, but it's also fairly linear. Um, once you learn how to play the game, you kind of know how to look for things and how to identify things and where to look for items and stuff and where you don't need to search. But uh, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of surprises and secrets in this game. And and if you're looking for a narrative gameplay with no combat, this has no no actual combat. It's all thinking and and trying to solve the mystery of where you think Carter went and and your own mystery of yourself and uh, and then you find other characters throughout the game um, in, that uh, have their own narrative story going on too and it's a uh, it's a it's a very uh, interesting style game so yeah if, if you want to try this game out I highly recommend it I think it's a really good game I think it has good narration it's beautiful it's immersive it's good to play with uh, alone like in the dark with with good sound and it's not even very expensive. I'll, I'll, I'll link the game in the, in the description. So yeah, this is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I really do recommend it again. I'll say that again. And check it out. So anyway, thanks guys. This is, this is Jason. And we'll see you next time.